normally with my videos, I start off by introducing the subject, maybe a line or two to kind of get a feel for what I'm going to be talking about, then there's the high quality glossy intro sequence, and then there is the actual video subject itself. But with this one, I'm trying to save a little bit of cash, so for one video only, here comes the low budget Miller Corner video intro. <laughs> Hello YouTube, Miller Corner here, welcome back once again, and as you've probably guessed by that intro sequence, today's video is about me not spending a lot of money, because the thing is, just lately, I've been noticing that I'm quite tight with money, not don't, just don't. And this can cause some problems for me. You see, I like to earn as much as I can and spend as little as I can to kind of save up as much money as I can in a big kind of nest egg for the future for things that are actually going to be quite big investments like buying a house and more expensive cars. But this can actually be a slight issue because spending as little as you can is a little problematic at times. For a start, being incredibly tight with money can actually make you kind of think differently about things. You see, when I try and spend as little money as I can, I end up thinking that things are more expensive than they are. Can we go for some chocolate? What have they got? Oh, brilliant, my favourite. 70 pence? Must be joking. And this can actually be quite awkward socially because the thing is, while everyone else is quite happy to spend a few quid here and there on lunch and on food and drinks and things like that that don't actually cost that much, I'm sitting there thinking that they do because they cost more than I want to spend. Which is kind of irrelevant. You can't go through life thinking that that is how much you want to pay something and that is how much you're going to pay for it because there will come a time when what you want to pay for it just isn't a possibility. So quite a lot of times I'll be out wanting to buy something like a magazine or whatever, I'll see that that magazine costs four quid and I'll put it back down and I'll think no, I will just go and read similar articles online for free. To be fair though, charging four quid or more for a magazine in this day and age is absolutely ridiculous and no one should get away with that. But the point still stands. I just end up kind of over exaggerating how much a price is and thinking it costs more than it actually does. I will look at the price for something and I think that I don't think it should cost that much, so I don't pay that for it. That's not a bad way to be in that you never overpay for something, but you end up kind of not buying anything as a result. I was actually really looking forward to the Black Friday deals a few weeks ago. Not because everything was going to be really cheap, but because more things were going to be at the prices that I think they should be. And that's odd. That's not right. Another issue with being really tight with my money is that I just won't buy things full stop. I'll be out and about and I'll see something in a shop that I've really been looking for, that I really need, or that just really catches my eye and I really like it. But after I've decided that I do want it, I will have that thought in my mind that goes, Oh, it's comfy as well. That is really soft. I like that a lot. Ah, oh, but it's going to be way cheaper online. Oh, I'll just buy it online instead. But you know how it is, you go to make a note of something to come back to later and you don't make a note of it. And that's my problem, I don't actually make a note of it so that the next time I do actually go into another shop or I've got access to the internet, I'll forget about the thing. So I won't actually buy it, which means I'll go without the thing that I need or want just for the sake of trying to save a bit of money on it. Which is, again, quite socially awkward to go through a shop, see loads of things that I want, but then just not buy them because I know they can be bought cheaper elsewhere, which they usually can. The fact of the matter is that having the internet is a great way to get things cheaper than in shops, generally. But you have to remember to go and buy them in the first place, and having a very tight wallet and forgetting to write a note about the thing to go and buy it online is a bad combination for actually being able to get a good online deal for what you're trying to buy. Another example of me spending as little money as I can is when buying cheap trivial things like a newspaper or a chocolate bar or some fast food or something like that. Something that doesn't cost a lot of money. Most normal people will either pay for it with a larger amount of cash so they just get some change or they'll pay for it with their card like a normal person and they're quite happy to watch their bank account balance go down ever so slightly. I don't like that, which is why I tend to pay for little cheap things with whatever small cash cash I happen to be carrying around. On the upside, it does keep your bank balance up and it does make your wallet lighter if you're paying for things with small change, but on the downside you're holding up a massive queue of people, you're taking loads of time to count it out, and the cashier has to take the time to count it all out exactly to make sure you've actually paid the right amount for something. It's kind of awkward and I really wish I didn't do it, but I just feel satisfied knowing that I've managed to pay for something and lighten my wallet up and kept my bank balance number high. 
it's really weird and I really wish I didn't do it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Leading on from that, another example of me spending as little money as I possibly can is with fuel. I've mentioned before how my car is extremely economical and hardly uses any petrol at all, but of course the fact that I drive nearly 100 miles to and fro college every week means I do actually have to put fuel in the thing. And when I am in the petrol station at the beginning of the week putting fuel in, I work out how many miles I've got to drive for the rest of the week and how much fuel my car's going to use to go that far and put in exactly that amount of fuel, which means I'm often standing at the fuel pump and putting in really odd, or in most cases, really small amounts of fuel. The worst part about that is that sketch isn't actually an exaggeration, I genuinely did put two quids worth of petrol in at one point. And again, it creates a really awkward social situation when you actually go and pay for the fuel, when you go up to the till and you pay for your entire petrol fill up with one two pound coin. And believe me, I've had various awkward looks, weird comments and sarcastic jokes from petrol station cashiers when I go and put such a small amount of fuel in. Normally I laugh it off or make a joke back, but again, it's just really awkward feeling where everyone else is quite happy to put 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds worth of fuel in their car and I'm putting two quid in, just enough to get home. I have a problem. So there we are guys, there's a small insight into my ever increasing tight fistedness with my money. In the future I will of course have the last laugh when I find it easier to pay for a house and to buy and insure more expensive and flashy cars, but right here right now I'm seen as that moron who won't spend 60p on a chocolate bar, who pays for fast food with pocket change and will put two quids worth of petrol in his car. I'm gradually trying to work on this and actually spend a little bit more money here and there, but every time I do I can't help but feel like I should be saving it for the future. It's not a bad way to be because it means I'm never struggling with money and I can always buy anything that I do actually want. Where do you guys stand on your attitude to spending money though? Are you as tight-fisted as I am and will spend as little as you possibly can on absolutely everything, or are you really flush and you'll spend whatever, wherever and whenever you want? Definitely be sure to let me know in the comments below because I really hope that I'm not the only one with this problem with hardly spending any money. Thanks so much for watching the video guys, I really really appreciate it. If you liked it don't forget to do that thing, if you didn't like it do that thing, but whatever you do don't forget to do that thing, type down below and as I've said tell me what is your attitude to spending your money. Are you as tight fisted as I am or are you really flash and do you buy whatever you want whenever you want? Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more videos from me as soon as they're released and I'll be back with you soon for some more higher budget video productions. For now though you have a brilliant rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Have a good one. Go up to the cash point to actually pay for the money and pay for the money. You absolute moron.